At the University of California, Irvine, the Mazer Robotics Company deploys Spine Assist, a medical robot which performs tasks with a level of precision rivaling human surgeons. We operate on people with problems related to their back or their neck uh, or people who have curvatures of their spine like scoliosis. Spine Assist is a robot that helps us putting in screws for some of these operations. With mere millimeters separating vertebra from sensitive spinal cord tissue, accuracy is paramount. A three-dimensional CAT scan of the patient's spine is uploaded to Spine Assist's guidance system to create a pre-operational blueprint. When we're planning the surgery, we have to have a CAT scan, which is a uh, image of the patient's bones that is of adequate size and resolution to make sure the computer and the robot can read it well. Spine Assist's guidance system synchronizes the CAT scan data with the robot's location along the spine to create a three-dimensional positioning system for safe placement of each screw. The robot references where it is on the spine using intraoperative x-rays and the preoperative CAT scan. So now it knows within a tenth of a millimeter or better where it is and can then lead its guidance pin to where we need to place screws to help stabilize the patient's spine during the healing process. The guidance system moves spine assist in tandem with doctors during surgical procedures. We place it on a track where the robot can move from station to station. Once it's moved into position, we then insert a small tube or metal tube that goes right through here. We then pass a drill right through that hollow tube to make sure that it all feels like it should feel and we insert the screw right in that same angle. You can see that the screws are avoiding the spinal canal where the spinal cord is. It's avoiding the area where all the nerves are and running right through the bone. The spine assist allows us to be more accurate and uh, it gives us the advantage of efficiency, really, so it's better for patients. Building on the achievements of Spine Assist, Mazer's latest generation, Renaissance, promises to take surgical robotics to the next level. Renaissance is programmed for even more complex procedures, like cranial surgery. These ever-increasing capabilities of surgical robots may soon force patients to wonder who's really wielding the scalpel. The number one failsafe with the robot is the surgeon. The robot doesn't take the place of the surgeon. It's just another tool we have, and used correctly, it works great. Used incorrectly, obviously there can be issues, but that's why the surgeon's still important.